Why, Stacy? It was business. Strictly business. Here's the deal. To get the promotion, I needed the one. See, to get a life, I needed his apartment. So what the hell? We up and got married. The only thing we have in common? We irritate each other. Right. Enjoy the show. Watching. Liver transplant. <laughs> Are you planning on having one? Shh. Note the infected, pus-filled nodules that infest the bloated, dying organ. <laughs> Maybe this is someone who can help you. Hello? Who's late? I'm so sorry I'm late. I was dropping Howard at a friend's birthday party, and then I forgot the present at home. I hope the little twerp can use a pair of control top pantyhose. <laughs> Let me get my coat so we can go. Freak. Realtor. <laughs> okay, I got our whole itinerary planned out. First, model furniture down in Soho. Then we shoot up to Sleep World in the Bronx. Then we get over to Reese's Gallery in Queens. I know I'm never gonna find anything there, but we should check it out anyway, don't you think? Okay, then after those places, we head out to Long Island and we really start looking. I'm already tired. Admit it, wouldn't you rather be that cut open, dude? Okay, I've got my wallet, I've got my itinerary. I'm wearing my comfy clothes to best facilitate bed shopping. Let's go. Oh, shoot. Let me see who this is. Hurry. I'm buying a bed today. Getting rid of the coffin? I'm gonna miss my old bed, though. We shared a lot of good times. Did my algebra homework on that bed. I was on the bed that time my mother walked in on Jed Waldman trying to tongue kiss me. Hey, hey. I'm trying to eat and watch a liver transplant. Stacy, I'm so sorry. I can't go bed shopping with you. What? Why? Oh, that was David from the office. He was supposed to show 10 floors of space on West 57th, and his wife's water just broke. Now? But we've been planning to go shopping all week. Stacy. The woman's in labor. So? There are drugs to slow it down, aren't there? <laughs> yeah, and maybe you should take a handful. I'll call you later. A second larger incision is now made, allowing the dead organ to be lifted out of the patient with ease. Okay, Doc. Steady as she goes. <laughs> Ooh! Oh! He's gonna feel that in the morning. <laughs> oh! Oh! That was a long procedure. You taped that? Yeah, I tape all my favorite shows during the week and then catch up on Saturday. Got this, uh, a bowel resection, a hysterectomy, and a very special episode of Boy Meets World. Um, Ned? Huh? Why don't you go bed shopping with me? Probably for the same reason that I don't swallow glass. Please, Ned. I need someone there to help me or else I freeze up and I make the wrong choice completely. I mean, it's like you see something and you think it's the right thing and then you get it home and you realize you've made this huge mistake, but then you gotta look at it day after day after day after day. I mean, it's like this curse. I mean, do you know what that's like? Oh, yes. <laughs> then you'll come with me? Oh, no. Why not? Because it's the principle of it all. You know, one day it's bed shopping, the next day you want me to go out and pick up tampons for you. I mean, what's after that? A ride to the airport? Oh, oh, no. I'll buy you a grape snow cone at Frosty's. So, this is what it's come down to. You think I can be bought off with a few lousy ounces of shaved ice covered with that yummy grape syrup? <laughs> So tart, yet cool and refreshing. <laughs> Damn you, devil woman, you'll have your bed this day. What do you think? Oh, uh, you know, I really think this is the one, Stacy. I got a great feeling about this bed. 
You've said that about the last 20 beds we've seen. And then why won't you buy one? <laughs> so, how you folks doing? <sighs> Beautiful bed, huh? I don't know. You know, this is the same bed I've got at home. Oh, you hear that, Stacy? Really? You have the same bed? Same one. Oh, good. Um, can you tell me, will this wood fade? Oh, no. Way it won't. <laughs> oh, good. Um, how much will it fade? Well, it will fade a little bit at a time. Till it's actually faded a lot. <laughs> and then it will stop. <laughs> and it will be perfect. All right. <laughs> you. You wouldn't even care if I got the wrong bed, would you? What? That is so insulting. If you feel that way, Stacy, then I suggest we turn around right now and we go home. <laughs> Please? Maybe you're right. I'm never gonna find the right bed. Oh, well, good. Now I don't have to string you up like a pinata and beat you till your entrails burst. <laughs> I'll take it. Sorry. 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 What do you mean by sorry? What does he mean by sorry, Ned? Chuck. Well, it's a limited edition. This is the last one. And it's sold. It's sold? It's sold. It can't be sold. It is sold. It is sold? It is sold. It's sold, Ned. Hey, caramba. Oh, gosh. What a disaster. Well, I guess I should just look around some more. <laughs> Maybe I should start thinking about futons. <laughs> That's a whole other set of stores. <laughs> Chuck. Yeah. Walk with me. <laughs> Chuck, uh... Listen, if I wanted somebody to check into whether or not this bed is definitely sold, is there some kind of checking into fee I could pay? And if so, who would I pay that fee to, Chuck? Uh, would that be you? <laughs> hey, lady, it's your lucky day. I just double checked the order book and wow, the bed isn't sold after all. Do you still want it? Then go get it. Ned, did you hear that? The bed isn't really sold! So, what do you think? It's nice. Howard, honey, please don't jump on my new bed. Hey. You really like it? Oh, no question. This is a keeper. Is the kind of bed you would buy? Definitely. Howard. <laughs> So, are you jealous? Yes, I am. <laughs> hey, whoa, 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 champ. Hey, what's, what's the matter? I want to jump on the bed. Oh, okay, here. Hey, why, don't you, why don't you read a book? I brought your favorite, Johnny Four Eyes Saves the Day. Open and close, open and close, open and close. Open. He's got kind of a Rain Man thing going on, doesn't he? <laughs> bed is great. It's incredible. When you die, the first thing I'll do is come get it. Really? Yes. <laughs> ah. What the hell are you watching now? A very special Boy Meets World. Mommy, let's go. Oh, honey, we'll leave in a few minutes. We try to get to the movies a few minutes late. The dancing candy scares him. Well, it doesn't scare me. It just brings up some issues, that's all. Do you guys want to come with us to see the Indian in the cupboard? Uh, no, there's one actually down at the newsstand. I'll just go stare at him. Stace? Uh, not me, thanks. I'm just gonna turn in for the night. It's 5.30. I want to spend time with my new bed. Uh, it is a great bed, Stacy. Oh, isn't it? I still can't believe I got it. God, I mean, it's like fate. First, the guy said it was sold, and, and then... then Mr. Ned slipped him the old C-note. Yeah, I heard all about it. Huh? What about a C-note? Uh, Rico, ixnay on the eye, but Bray. What are you saying? Ned bribed the salesman? Damn, she's bilingual. 
so it really was sold. Amanda, did you hear that? Ned bribed the salesman to sell me somebody else's bed. That's outrageous. Come on, guys, let's get a move on. I'm with you. Sorry that uh, she's my, my ride. <clears throat> See you guys later. Have a nice fight. How could you do that? How could you do something like that? Hey, if I hadn't, we'd be in Amish country by now. <laughs> Does they like this bed? I am not kidding. I am really upset about this. Hey, you wanted the bed, now you've got the bed. So maybe it took a little monkey grease to make it happen. Well, you know what? That's the way the world works, Stacy. Well, maybe in your little corrupt corner of the galaxy, but did it ever occur to you that there are human consequences to this? Someone else played by the rules, and now they're bedless because of me. No, they're bedless because of me. That was my hundred bucks, Missy. And I'll accept a thank you anytime you're ready. Thank you? You're welcome. Ha ha, I win. The end. No. No, not the end, Ned. What you did was immoral. Immoral? Well, how do you explain this little fandango we're involved in here? How did this marriage pass your morality smell test? This is totally different. There is no victim here. Oh, yeah? <laughs> and get those drinks before you go, huh? I thought you were asleep. I really have to talk to you, Ned. Gee, I wonder about what? No, 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 no. I'm not gonna go off on you about ethics or moral compromise or any of that stuff, I promise. Good. It's just that I can't sleep in that bed. I try, but it mocks me. <laughs> I mean, I lay there, and but then all I can think about is who is supposed to get that bed. I mean, what happens if it was supposed to go to a nice old couple who spent their whole lives working and just wanted a soft place to spend what little time they had left? And they're screwed. <laughs> then I thought, what happens if it was supposed to go to a little orphan who, through a series of horrible bribes, is forced to huddle next to a radiator for the rest of his little life? You know why you can't sleep? Because you're insane. No, I'm not. It's just I can't sleep on that bed, Ned. I dread that bed. It's bad. I'm mad. I wish that bed I never had. Oh my God, I can't stop talking like Dr. Seuss. I am insane. Good night. Ned, we have to return that bed tomorrow. We? <laughs> it sounded like you just said we. Oh my! <laughs> okay, I'm glad that's done. Good night. Ned, please. Please come back with me to bring the bed back. If you do that, I swear I'll turn off this light, stop talking, and walk out of this room right now. But you won't keep on going, will you? Ned. All right. Thanks. Uh, one more thing. For tonight, can we switch beds? Fine. This is so childish. Remember us from yesterday? Oh, yeah. What can I do for you? Need a night table or something? 
No, no. Actually, um, I would like to return the bed I bought. Sorry, lady. All sales are final. It says so in the contract. Were you concerned about legalities yesterday when you took a bribe from him? Look, lady, I'll tell you again. No returns. Okay, that's it. I want to talk to the manager. You're the manager, aren't you? Yes. And speaking to you as the manager, I just want to say I'm done speaking to you. I'm never going to sleep again. My life is over. Chuck! Yeah? Walk with me? This is a nice bed. Maybe they'll let me come here to sleep. Yoo-hoo! Lady, here's your check. We'll be by this afternoon to pick up the bed. Between one and eight. Did you bribe him again? Hey, yes, I did. <laughs> but this time, I used my bribing powers for good, not evil. Let's go. I am not leaving. Oh, yes, you are. Come on, girl. Come on. Come on. Stop it. I am not going to return my bed if he had to be bribed again. Why not? Because we have to do this the right way. You know we do. We? We? What is this word, we, that you bandy about? <laughs> Stacy, there's no we. There's a you. There's a me. Occasionally, there's an us. But there is never a we. Say it. Say it right now. Say it, Stacy. There is no we. Let people watch you. I don't give a frog's fat ass who's watching. <laughs> You're a loony bird, and the world needs to know. World, fear this woman. Fear this woman! Stop it! Stop it! This it would never even have happened if you didn't keep bribing people, Ned! Oh, could you two please take this outside? We'd rather not, Chuck! Take your time. <laughs> you see? Thanks to my bribing powers, we're free to continue arguing. Yeah, well, you just threw away some money, mister. When you are ready to resume this conversation in a mature and rational manner, you'll know where to find me. Oh, yeah? At my house! And then he started going crazy and yelling at me in front of everybody as if the whole thing was my fault. Stacy, I'm only hearing your side, and I think it's your fault. <laughs> yeah, well, he didn't have to be such a baby about it. Ooh, I'm mad at Stacy, so I'm not coming home. Everyone will be so worried. Ooh, as if. So, what are you doing about the bed? Um, you know, keeping it. What? I thought this was the tainted bed you couldn't lay your precious little head on. Well, actually, I had a pretty good nap on it this afternoon. <laughs> okay, he's not in any of the hospitals, and he's not at the morgue. Eric, he's only been gone seven hours. I know, but I, I just got a bad feeling in my gut on this one. I know it may seem like nothing bothers him, but underneath, he's just a, a big, gentle bear. I mean, haven't you ever <laughs> watched him sleep? <laughs> no. Have you? Look, I can't just sit here doing nothing. I got to go out and look for him. Where are you going to go? I don't know, but if Ned Dorsey is in this city, I'm going to find him. You can bet on that. you, didn't he? That he did. You see, I find that cute. <laughs> so do I. Stacy, Lassie's come home. Hey, Ned. Hey, Rico. Amy at the morgue says hi. What are you doing? I'm thinking. About what? Well, I was just wondering what it would be like if, uh, if I could see wild dingoes rip you apart. 
But that's wrong, isn't it? Just come inside, okay? I don't want to. Bad things happen to me in there. Okay, look. Everyone seems to be in agreement that I overreacted about this bribery business. Eric, Amanda, even Chuck called and told me to lighten up. Yeah, I paid him to. <laughs> um, but look, I, maybe I did get carried away, but I had a nap and I'm feeling much better. And it also hit me that a bed is just a bed then. You go to bed, you lay your head, your sheets are red. No! <laughs> hmm. Hmm. Anyway, what I'm trying to say is that I'm sorry for this whole bed fiasco. Well, I gotta tell you, Stace, uh, I'm, I'm a little worried about us. What do you mean? Well, you know, I mean, if this marriage is to have any chance at all, we really got to start staying the hell away from each other. Okay. Okay. Let's do it. All right. Look, uh, yeah, I think I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna go for a little walk. All right. Okay, and I'll stay here. There you go. Okay. Um, Ned? Yeah? Can you pick up some tampons on your way home? Good night. Good night.